You're the second lady of the United States. Also, I think the first second lady ever to hold a paying job. Mm -hmm. Is that, I mean, I tried to do a lot of research on this and yeah. I think it's the case. Well, um, when we were elected, I said to Joe, you know, I have to continue teaching. And he said, of course. A teacher, I mean, two days a week, all day, uh -huh. plus your role as second lady and all the official functions. You, I mean, are you grading tests and Constantly. developing, like in the motorcade? Constantly. I mean, the, you know, so um, I have papers with me at all times that I'm constantly grading. But, you know, I'm just like, I think, every other American woman who is working. I mean, she has to create a balance between her work world and her home world. And I hear they call you Dr. B. They do call me Dr. B. It's funny, um, you know, not all my students know I'm second lady. So a lot of them, you know, have no idea. And I always say, if they say Biden, are you related to the vice president? And I say, yes, he's one of my relatives. Um, so you and the vice president have been married. We're going on 37 years. Forever. For, hard to <laughs> Forever. believe. I have to say in that photo yeah. shoot, I was like, wow, <laughs> I'm going to take up running, bar, <laughs> eat what you eat, whatever you're doing, it's working. You look um, great. Oh, you're very nice. Um, how are you able to focus on your couple in addition to all this other stuff? Um, do you have a date night? You know, it's so hard, I think, when you You know, we, such... we really do make time for one another. Um, when he comes home at night, no matter what time it is, um, I light the candles on the table. We spend time. Um, this morning, uh, I had to get up early, and, you know, I made toast and coffee, and I took it in, and, um, you know, we just sat on the bed and talked because sometimes you just have to grab those moments. And is it true that... I know the vice president asked you to marry him several mm -hmm. times, and he was determined. He was. But the that the tipping point for you were the boys. Absolutely. That you fell in love with those I kids, did. and you. I did. I, I mean, mean, they were just so beautiful. They wanted a mommy. I wanted to love them, and you know, just all came together. Every Sunday we have uh, family dinner. I cook family dinner. We've done it for years and years and years, mm -hmm. and. The kids really look forward to it and you know, hey mom, what time's dinner or what are we having this week? And I always was struck with how emotional it must have been to send your child to a deployment, to mm -hmm. active duty mm -hmm. when you did that. And probably more so for you because you kind of know the gritty truth of what's going on in Iraq. That was one of the toughest times of my life. It was one month before we were, before we were elected. And um, in that same weekend, Bo left for deployment. My mother died. I mean, it was like Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, I buried my mother. And then, um, and so that was a really, and then we, I was campaigning. I mean, it was one month before we were elected. And um, so when I was at Bo's deployment ceremony, the uh, wife of the general, who was sitting next to me just slipped a prayer into my hand. Mm -hmm. And I said that prayer um, every day. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Um, every day, because I don't care whether I was writing on my blackboard or what I was doing. I mean, that I'm telling you, it's it never leaves your mind no. that you have a son in a war zone. You know, bringing it back to the First Lady, I mean, we just decided to work together on military families. It was an interest for both of us. And um, that's what we're trying to get Americans to do, to support and honor our military families. And we say, do, you know, commit to an act of kindness, no matter what it is. Well, that's amazing. I don't know how you do everything you do. I know, but it's so interesting. Like, what could I give up? Right.